and welcome to the audio file baristas weekly vlog number 95 where i talk about audio coffee and other things that keep me busy and today i have three things for you one two three audio audio coffee let's dive into it okay so this is something that i picked up in the thrift store and what is it well Probably if you're my age, you know exactly what this is. Maybe if you are a bit younger, you might have an idea. But if you remember these, you know what this is for. This is just a cassette holder. And you have one, two, three, four sides to put all your cassettes in, in a little, little uh, footprint space. So that's what this thing is all about. So let's see what it looks like when it's filled up. And this is what it looks like when one side is completely filled up. So there's still a lot of room as you can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40 discs I can put in here, which is very nice. And as you can see, so let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, because it's black on black, I had to find a good lighting spot, but I think I found it. Now, as I just showed you, this is the way that you put in a cassette. But as you can see, there's not only ridges on the side here, but there's also ridges down here. Because this is intelligent engineering, because we all know, if you lived back in the days, that these things would break, uh, get lost, uh, forgotten somewhere. So you would be left with just this thing. And this is meant to go in here. So you could, ha you could have a whole stack of all your cassettes going in just like that. And over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possibilities 16 times 4 so that is also a way to use this thing i found it in the thrift store for just a few bucks online most of the time these things are pretty pretty expensive so i was very happy with that now let's move on to the next one and here it is and what have we here well it is from audio quest and it is a headphone and it is the first headphone that they made and this is the Nighthawk. If we have a look inside, you can see there is a pouch. It comes with all kind of extras, uh, four cables in this case. And this is where the headphone will be when you put it back in the box. So let's have a look at it. And here we have it. This is the Audio Quest Nighthawk headphone with some attempt to make it look expensive with this fake glossy plastic whatever. Anyways. Let's give it a nice look. Now you have this strap overhead that is not on your head and you have this very flexible thing that will make that is how you adjust it. It's very really simple. Uh, the first thing that I read about it was that the comfort of wearing is very high. And that's the main reason that I picked up this one. Also because it was on Craigslist, Marktplatz, as we call it here. A great, uh, a great offer. Hardly used. Well, that's what they always tell you. But it came with a lot of extras. Things were uh, improved. The band was improved. Stuff like that. So I thought, well, let's pick it up. At the moment when I'm editing, I'm using either Grado headphone or the Sennheiser HD 600 and at the long term they get a little bit uncomfortable and these things I've been using them for a few days now and these things are very very comfortable now I don't really have a headphone well I don't have a headphone amp dedicated headphone amp 
So I am still in the process of reviewing them as to do I like this sound. First impressions are very good and I am very happy that I have this one. So that was number two that I scored this week and that I wanted to show you guys. Now let's move on to the big surprise of today, number three. So back in the day, and I mean back in the day, somewhere around the year 1600, the Dutch ruled the seas and were probably the first to make coffee with cold water. They did this because it was more easy on the long trips and they were going to warmer countries so it also helped to stay cool under those warm conditions. Now of course the Dutch did a lot of things that were very questionable in those days but the tradition of cold coffee is a Dutch tradition and that is why it's called Dutch coffee. Okay so the first thing I had to do was to put the frame together. This is an easy straightforward exercise just like you do with IKEA stuff. Now the tower comes with three glass bowls and a few accessories. All this glass is heat resistant and all three are needed for this setup. Now starting at the top you have a container that holds your water, clean, cold, filtered water. In the middle you have the piece that will hold your coffee and there is some kind of lid that you place on the bottom before putting your coffee in and it is intended to keep the coffee grinds from getting into the cutoff where you collect your end product, which is the wonderful cold brew coffee. And when it's all done, it looks like this. Enjoy! Okay guys, I hope you liked that video a little bit over here. You see the machine like I just showed you. And this is the second cup of coffee that I'm making. The first one was with a little bit more coarser grind. This is a little bit finer and this tastes a lot better. So what you do, you just take a glass, you put some ice in there. You take your wonderful coffee. And this will last you for a very long time. So I'm going to enjoy this. As you can see, today is at least a sunny day. It is warm inside. I've not been outside yet, but it looks beautiful. So probably I'm going outside. The weekend is starting. I'm wishing you all a very nice weekend and I hope to see you next week.